Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you a simple but effective way to make dingy teeth look brighter and whiter all the way to a Hollywood smile. I'll use the middle example for this tutorial. Open your zoom tool to zoom into your image. Make sure your foreground and background colors are set to black and white respectively. If they aren't, click on the small double box icon or press D. If the colors are reversed, press X. Click on the quick mask box and open your brush tool. Click on the little arrow next to the number and choose a relatively small brush size, no hardness and 100% opacity. Brush the edges of the teeth, avoiding the gums and spaces behind the teeth. If you make a mistake, press X to invert the colors and brush over the mistake. Then press X again to revert the colors and resume brushing. To move your image over, hold down the space bar and drag the image across. Continue this process until all the edges of the teeth have been completed. Open your paint bucket tool and click down inside the quick mask to fill it in. If you zoomed out like I did, just press Z to call back your zoom tool and zoom back in. Press B to call back your brush tool and brush over the areas that didn't fill in. Press Q to make the quick mask into a selection and Control shift i or Command shift i on a Mac to invert it. Drag the image over the new layer icon to duplicate the layer. Click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the copy. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose hue saturation. Click on the clip to layer icon. Notice the adjustment layer slid to the right. This tells us that it will just affect the one layer beneath it as opposed to all the layers beneath it in the layers panel. We'll adjust the saturation and lightness. For this image, I'll decrease the saturation to minus 31 and increase the lightness to plus 23. Keep in mind, depending on the characteristics of the teeth in your photo, you may want to adjust these numbers. We'll do one more step to make them look a little more natural. I'll increase the brush size to about 300 and reduce its opacity to 45%. Brush down once over both sides of the teeth. This reveals a little bit of the teeth on the layer below it. Using these techniques, you can make the dingiest of teeth look spectacular. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.